Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT4 VS Code extension, also known as Visual Studio Code. Now, first thing you want to do is go to the extensions and type ChatGPT. Now, I'm going to install the first ChatGPT extension on the list. So just go ahead and click on the extension and then click on the install button. You're going to need an OpenAI account. And if you scroll down here in the extensions description, you're going to see this link. We're going to use this link to generate your API keys. You can also find this link in the description of this video. But before we go to this link, I'm going to open a new VS Code project. So I'm going to go to my C drive projects. And here I already prepared ChatGPT project folder for this tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. In this VS Code project, I have one file, gpt.javascript, and it's just a function that calculates a palindrome. Because we have ChatGPT extension installed, right-clicking on selected function will give you these two options, ChatGPT ask why code isn't working, and ChatGPT ask to explain code. Clicking on one of those options will ask you for your OpenAI API key. Now it's time to go to that link in the description of this video. Here, click on the button to generate your key. Now OpenAI does not share your keys, so this is your only opportunity to generate and copy the key. Now let's go back to VS Code, and here we're going to paste this API key into this box. Go ahead and press enter and your chat GPT action is going to execute in a split window. Now, this is not the only chat GPT extension for Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to extensions, type chat GPT again, and install the second extension on the list. It's very similar to the first chat GPT extension, but it seems to have better features. Now, the way you set it up is press Control shift p and I think it's Command-Shift-P on a Mac. This is called Command Palette in VS Code, and just start typing chat GPT. Now, to be more specific, type Update API Key. Now, we're going to enter our API key into this second extension we just installed. Press Enter to validate your API key. Now, go ahead and close everything except the JavaScript file select the function, right click, and in this area right here, you'll have your chat GPT options. Why is there a bug in this code? Help me explain the code, refactor this code, custom prompt, which is what allows you to ask your own questions. I'm going to go ahead and select help me explain the code. As soon as you do that, you'll see chat GPT explaining the code line by line. So this is a great way to learn how to code. Now in this prompt that appears, you can ask your own questions. So here I'm going to ask ChatGPT to optimize is palindrome function. One interesting thing here is that you have to be very specific because here it started to optimize the function using the Python language. So you have to be more specific and here I'm going to type optimize is palindrome function in JavaScript and ChatGPT is going to proceed making this function a lot shorter. Now, don't try to right click on the function and copy it. It's just not gonna work. It took me a while to realize is the proper way of doing that is clicking on this copy button next to the code block. So that's it for this tutorial. We installed a ChatGPT VS Code extension, entered our OpenAI key, which makes this ChatGPT extension not free. So be careful how you use your tokens. And finally, we use the ChatGPT extension to optimize the JavaScript function.